Yo, yo, what up guys? Your boy Chris here of 1980-something co. Yes, yes. Uh, this is a different kind of live, different kind of live today. We may sell some things on here, but mostly uh, this is a virtual chat, guys. It's a virtual chat. Uh, I want to start going live with some of the vendors that we got for the upcoming virtual event. First guest is our special guest for Virtual Flea, which is Deadstock Luis. Deadstock Luis. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, what's up, brother? How you doing? Good, good, you? Damn, are we, we're going to try this again because uh, we tried this once. I remember during the pandemic, this was actually before I started doing Virtual Flea. I was like, let me, uh, I mean, virtual fleet. I was like, let's do a stash raiders, a live stash raiders. That was and uh, remember that? We were trying to go through your stash. Yeah, yeah. I had fucking bad internet back then. I feel kind of bad, but yeah, it's better. Did you move or you just got like a better connection or it just fixed itself? Um, no, I upgraded it because I had like the, I guess, second fastest, but I don't know. That shit sucked. But um, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it worked good. Sometimes it's still shitty. So it depends. Yo, yo, please drop Spider-Man MJ again. So that's actually why I invited uh, Deadstock Luis to hop on, guys, as a special guest for Virtual Flea LA going down May 20th is because of the success of that boot. That thing is, I feel like, one of the most successful boots to drop since boots have been dropping. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's my best salad for sure. Um, the first one was kind of like, it was okay. It was kind of weird at first dropping it. I was like, I don't know if like people were gonna be tripping or like, not like not buy it because it's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of weird, but whatever. It, it uh, ended up being like the most successful one. So yeah, it's been good. So you've done. I know you done, did a few versions of it, right? So you did the one with Spidey yeah. looking in, and then you did like a Dragon Ball Z version. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I went back to Spidey because I was like, the Dragon Ball Z was cool, but nah, Spidey's. Spidey's like a good one, so yeah. And I've been wanting to do the, the new one, so that's why I was like, okay, I was knocking this one out again. And the latest one is the Black Spidey, right? Looking in on Black Cat. Yeah, let me get that one right here. Yeah. That one, did that one go? That one went nuts. Was that the most successful one? Yeah. So like, I don't know if I should say it. So like over over five hundred. She. So. Yes, yeah, right here. She. Yeah, because at this you turn the girl also into a character as well, right? Yeah, so that's black cat, and then you got Spidey in the back. Jeez, yeah. that's fire! Let me know in the chat, guys watching, if you got your hands on one, because these are all sold out now, right? Yeah, so I did like a pre-order for it, um, just because people kept asking me for the original one, and I and I I just was like, I'll just open a pre-order that way. If anybody wants one, they can grab one. Um, but yeah, since I closed it, uh, people still want one. Like people that didn't know about it, they're still hitting me up, but. Um, like I'm not really, I'm not really dropping another one. Kind of just, I just do like one and done pretty much. I don't try to like restock shit. So yeah, it's, it's and it's. I feel like a part of that is because you're doing it not because you want to be a t-shirt seller. I mean, I'm sure you do, but yeah. uh, that's not the main thing. Like the priority is just getting ideas out and just seeing people enjoy them. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So yeah, it's just I started making shirts just because like, so I collect a lot of vintage. Like I, I collect like Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter and stuff, so I not like I pretty much collected everything that I wanted, and I was like, all right, well, I'd like to see this on a shirt. So then I started just making like boots. I still collect, like I still look for shirts all the time, like vintage shirts. Like, I just got this one, but yeah. um, yeah, that's mostly just trying to make what I like, pretty much. That one on body is crazy too. Aqua Eight approved. Oh yeah, light shade to it. Yeah, Rita, nineteen ninety four. It's a good one. Hey, Corbin, what up? Corbin says, wait till y'all see what me and Lewis got cooking up for our boot. Oh, you guys are doing a collab? Yeah, yeah. yeah we got something planned. I'm working on it right now. Like, I've been uh, hiring artists to kind of draw for me instead of just, like, ripping something from a comic or something. So I've been hiring, like, a bunch of artists to kind of just draw, like, original stuff. So. Oh, that's dope. That's, that's the dream right there, to be able to just make your own, come up with your own designs. That's sick. It's, it's hard, though, because sometimes, like, I paid one guy and it looked like, looked kind of like ugly you know so i was like oh shit so now i have to pay another person to draw it and then i have like a third person drawing the, the image so i'm kind of gonna, just gonna pick the best one from it so yeah man it's not not that easy because i've tried to do that too have my own ideas and be like yo show me like i want to see this yeah. and i mean i didn't even get a like a prototype like just a lot of artists will just tell you straight up like bro i can't do that like yeah <laughs> no nah, it, it's it's hard for sure like I have this other artist that's really good at like certain stuff and I asked him to draw it and it was just like, I don't know. But yeah, you gotta kind of like dig and, and find like the right artist that does that style and stuff. So yeah. it's pretty tricky, but you know, it's it's cool. 
I like it. I enjoy it. If you guys are just tuning in, guys, we're live right now with Deadstock Louis, special guest for Virtual Flea LA going down May 20th. I invited him on because, uh, like I said just a second ago, I think he's got one of the hottest boots that have come out since boots dropped. Um, and uh, I was like, I feel like it would be cool to have you on as a headliner and kind of mix those audiences where it's just, uh, you know, there's a vintage audience and then there's a boot audience. And there's a little bit of middle ground there, but really they're two different audiences. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I mean, the people that buy the boots are mostly like, I feel like shoe heads or like hat heads that people like buy like fitted and stuff. Um, just because they're not like familiar with vintage too, too much. But I, I mean, I still post vintage so that way I can kind of like, show them what that is too and sometimes like on apple prices are like what the fuck like why are you charging 500 bucks for a tea or something so yeah it's it's cool it's cool to mix it up because i mean i buy shoes and stuff and like i know that audience too so i was like you know it's cool to do both pretty much uh, okay so probably because you have one foot in one audience you were able to kind of like have more success in pulling that other audience in because when you look at like a mask in disguise all the people in the comments that are like yo this is crazy i need it i don't they're not like vintage accounts no, you know, me being an all vintage guy, when I dropped my boot, it was like I got a lot of backlash because the vintage people are like, they're, it's not the same kind of mentality. They're not like, oh, that's cool artwork. It's cool to see those designs come to life. They're like, why are you making a new shirt? Why are you adding to fat, fast fashion? All the same complaints, you know? Yeah, I, I can see it from both sides for sure. But I mean, if you're buy, if you're like a vintage head, just don't buy the boot, you know? Like, that's simple. Like, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Like, I still sell vintage. Like, I still buy and collect and shit so it's not like i completely switched over but um yeah i mean that's just like the best advice i tell them is like well you don't have to buy it you know like yeah whatever don't worry about yeah I, I did a i did a poll kirk what up man kirk's in here kirk's uh said cracking the code because i told them i was like dude it's almost like lewis he cracked the code bro like because <laughs> when i dropped my boots all i got was like hey if you're in vintage i feel like you're gonna get a lot of hate because they're just such purists yeah. you know but um, they don't understand about just like we were saying a second ago, just getting your ideas out, having fun with these uh, uh, ideas and just putting things on tees that you wish you would see and just, you know, employing your creativity, which is fun. Instead, they see, see it as like you creating more T-shirts that don't need to be in the world. But I did a post on TikTok about this and I said, um, you know, here, I, I'll actually play because I have it queued up right here. And I'll read you what they said about it in just a sec, but this is the TikTok. I'm selling fakes, or at least I feel like that's what some people think when I sell a modern boot. So a modern boot is a t-shirt that is a bootleg made today. So I and countless others from the vintage community make modern boots because some of the properties that we love from our nostalgic days either didn't make a shirt with something on it that we love or just didn't make any merch at all. So for example, this is a modern boot that I made back in 2021. It's got the Fly Brothers on it from A Bug's Life. The Fly Brothers have this quote in the movie. It's one of my favorite quotes of any Disney movie. So you don't see Fly Brothers on any merch, so I decided to make my own. Many people in the vintage community have a problem with this because they say that because vintage is supposed to be secondhand and good for the environment, why are we making more shirts? But my argument to that is I literally, literally only made like 100 of these. And because they're limited run, they're appreciated and people buy them and are going to keep them and love them forever. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about modern boots in the comments. And in the meantime. So, yeah, so that's the post that I made. And pretty much everybody in the comments, the main problem that I saw that they had with them was like, it's one, it's cool until you're making something complete, like a complete remake. Yeah. So it's like a fake, like a fake vintage t-shirt. Yeah. You know? but, the, but if you're making something new, that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I don't know. It's it's weird, yeah. Like reprints, like I, like if someone were to reprint like this shirt, I would be pissed. Right. I'd be like, bro, like that's already a shirt, you know. So I kind of feel like, in that sense, I understand. I, I wouldn't do like a reprint of like another like Mortal Kombat shirt or something like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I see from both sides. Like the people that my, so my name is like Deadstock Luis, right? Deadstock is like from shoes. So I kind of feel like since I have like that that old name, I can still kind of like reach out to that that uh that following because they're not gonna like the shoe heads aren't gonna spend a thousand bucks for like a rap tee or some shit so you know so like um obviously I, I i sell stuff so like you know i make stuff catered to them too and like i, I make it for myself mostly so it's like i don't know it, it's a weird though that's a weird market for sure like i get why people don't like it like the vintage heads because it's just like but i don't know i mean 
just don't buy it <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. So yeah. since it's such a big topic in the vintage community, I figured, look, virtual, we're already going to have a vintage community coming out, but let's merge two different uh, audiences. Let's also have the boot people come out or like, you know, the people, like you said, that do hats and also yeah. collect shoes. So we can make it just a real big celebration at Virtual LA, which it's already shaping up to be. So uh, we got Deadstock Luis as our special guest for the event, guys. So make sure you check him out. Uh, what are you going to have at your booth for Virtual um, LA? Um, so I don't have it in hand yet. Like, it's still getting printed. Um, and I'm still waiting for the tags. But, yeah, it's going to be, like, a special kind of um, exclusive booth that I'm only going to sell there. So, like, um, yeah, I don't, I, don't have it. I don't have it in hand right now. Though. I wish I did, but fucking um, it's still in production. But. Yeah, I'll post it soon. When I get closer to the event, I'll post it. And so everybody will see what it is. Dope. So we got a sneak peek coming soon. For those uh, that don't know you, explain to them a little bit about, like, how long you've been collecting, what you like to collect. Uh, like, like, so I've been collecting since, like, 2019. Um, I collect, like, Mortal Kombat fighting games, pretty much, Street Fighter, um, Killer Instinct, uh, some gaming tees, uh, a little bit of Marvel here and there. Like, I, I get a lot of Marvel, but, like, it's hard for me to keep it off because there's so much Marvel. Um, but... Yeah, it's pretty much stuff like that. Like rap tees, I never. I got I got into a couple rap tees, but nothing too crazy. Like band tees, I don't really like band tees. But um, yeah, pretty much just stuff like that. Just stuff I grew up on, and uh, like nostalgic stuff, Power Rangers and stuff like that too. So yeah, I just try to try to stick with that and just kind of go with that. I don't try to like branch off into other stuff. Kinda yeah. Keep it. And then uh, is that what inspires you to make some of the designs that you're doing with your yeah. boots? Yeah, yeah. So um, I feel like a lot of my boots are like Mortal Kombat. Um, I did a Street Fighter one. It's more like cartoon Marvel stuff. Like, I don't think I'll ever make like a rap tee or anything like that. It's just mostly like stuff that I already collect. And I kind of like, there's a lot of comics um, from Mortal Kombat that never like, the images never I, I got out. So like, you know, stuff like that. I just try to try to make and shit. Let's go see. But, Challenge Luis to a Mortal Kombat collection competition. Wonders got it like that? Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, she, she's, she's got some of mine, so. I can't keep it all. I got a family and shit, so sometimes I have to have to sell one or two, you know. Costanza's closet says New Luis loves Akira. Is that true? Mm, no, nah, actually, Costanza got me into Akira. Like I've watched it, but like I, I had one tea and I sold it. But yeah, it's cool. I'm not like super heavy into like anime, other than like Dragon Ball Z. But um, other than that, I'm not really like super heavy into the Akira and Ghost in the Shell and all that. Yeah, guys, drop your questions in the chat. We're live right now with Deadstock Louis, special guest for Virtual LA. Uh, Cam Spin says, what's been your favorite piece to make? So, so my favorite one, it's one that I haven't released yet. So I had a, a Green Ranger planned out, and then obviously he passed away. So I, I put that design away for, like, a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that one's probably going to be my favorite one just because I've been working on it since, like, July of last year. But, um, yeah, since he passed away, I kind of just didn't want to, post anything out because i mean obviously I, I don't like like anyone to think i'm profiting off of death which i'll never do but yeah pretty much that's why i just but that's that's gonna be my favorite one for sure sheesh yeah that's crazy uh did you see the uh trailer for the new show that they're gonna have on netflix yeah yeah no that's crazy bro I, yeah i'm hyped to see that shit hopefully it's good but who would have um, thought that it, that they needed to keep it a little cheesy for it to yeah. look good i like that yeah no hopefully it's good i mean i wish like the red ranger came back and all that other shit but like I don't know. They they have different characters playing now. Um. So, but it's cool. They kept like the green. I'm mean, not the green. The the blue and the black ranger. So that's pretty dope. Crazy, crazy. Uh. So you're gonna be like I said, special guest for uh virtual flea L. A. Uh. What are you looking forward to for virtual? I know you got your boot dropping. That's amazing. I can't wait to see it for. Oh, I've seen it, but I can't wait for everybody else to see the uh the sneak peek of the the exclusive virtual flea exclusive boot. But well, any other things you're looking forward to for virtual LA? Um, just kicking it with the homies and stuff. So I'm staying with like a couple, a couple friends to just kind of go out there, have, you know, buy some stuff and just chill. Pretty much, I've been busy with like work. So yeah, just looking forward to kind of just doing another event. Nice, nice. But, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, I saw somebody asking about the room block. Yes, we have the room block ready. Uh, I already know where we're staying and everything. Uh, we'll probably announce Monday. We'll go live uh, on Monday and just notify everybody. So we do have a room block. Great rate being that we're, it's in L.A. and uh, short walking distance from the event. So, man, it's, it's, it's feeling official, man. It didn't really feel official until we got that room block because, you know, that's like an important part of the, of the event too, you know? It's going to 
same, like how you did it like in Phoenix where it's kind of like on the same hotel or is it pretty just close? You said it was pretty close, right? It's close, yeah. So LA is kind of weird where all the hotels, Carlos, what up? You, Carlos, another vendor. Uh, we'll have, we gotta have Long Gone on here too for a Q&A on the live as well. But um, yeah, so LA, all the hotels, the ballrooms are tiny, like too small for what we do. Yeah. So we had to uh, have the hotel be separate from the event, but luckily it's a really short, uh, safe walk from the event. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Yeah, we got our spot already too. So, I think we're like twenty minutes away, so it's not too bad. But. <laughs> Grumpus Wolf says, "Lewis, will you sign my reptile?" Yeah, I'll, I'll sign it for you. I'll sign it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, guys, Virtual LA coming May 20th. Special guest Deadstock Luis right here. Uh, if you guys have any questions for him, please feel free to drop them in the chat. Uh, throw it at the convention center. Uh, nah, it's too expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah is that like, like a, um, that building? Is it kind of like, it, it looks like a, is this like a warehouse or something? Or what, what is it? Yeah, so it's basically just like, um, hmm, it's, it's like a parking lot, like a, a parking structure floor, but it's not. Like, you can't access it with the car. Uh -huh. It's just an open kind of room. Uh -oh. It's huge. Yeah, I, I yeah, I mean, the, the video of it, but I was, I was like, what is that? I was trying to figure out what it was, but. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's pretty much like just a, a floor of the parking structure, but open. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird, but yeah. we got lucky to find it, and it's right in downtown LA. Yeah. Um, right in the middle of it that was another thing it was like if we're gonna have a virtual la we have to have it in la because um my other buddy has an event dta market do you know second Isle? uh i'm not sure maybe i forget they, it, but i have like terrible terrible remember it, like to remember well, they have an out uh an event here in the san fernando valley but they throw or they have a store here or they had a store here and then, but they have their event in LA and they were taught, they were telling me about how much, um, it's just easier to access for all of LA if it's on that side, uh, or that part of town. So yeah, that's where yeah. For LA, I was hoping I was like, oh, oh. yeah, if we're going to do LA, you got to do LA, you know, it can't be anywhere outside. So yeah. you got to do LA easy one shot off from the airport, uh, on the freeway. So it works out. Uh, it's, is it out? It's not outside. It is going to be covered. But like I said, it's like a parking structure floor. So what, when does the hotel info drop? Hotel will probably drop Monday. Monday, I mean, I think it is gonna drop Monday, but I just like, I, I like to have the official yes or no from the team before I say some uh, certain, but I don't see why it wouldn't be Monday. Monday will drop everything, we'll go live and, and we'll, we'll make an announcement. But uh, Luis, uh, what do you have to say? Do you have anything to uh, let the people know? Cause we went through all my questions hella quick. Yeah, uh, shit, I don't know. Like, hopefully everybody makes it out. Um, I know a couple of homies aren't going to be able to go, but um, if you're planning on going, then just go because it's in L.A. It's going to be dope. And uh, I feel like it's going to be super packed. Like, L.A.'s is, LA is, LA is a spot for sure. I've been waiting for that to happen for, for a long time. So, Yeah, man. I think it's going to be crazy. If we could pack uh, Chicago, uh, you know, coming out of winter time, it was freezing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I already know that L.A. is – is gonna be a crazy one in the spring. It's gonna be beautiful. So yeah, no, it should be good weather hopefully. Um, but yeah, no, it's dope, bro. May is gonna be perfect. It's not super hot, so um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it for sure. So yeah. Uh, Hang time says, how much are the vendor spots uh, for a ten by ten? It's three hundred, and then I think it's uh, not double price. Definitely cheaper for the fifteen by fifteen, or I think it's a twenty by twenty by ten. Uh, all the prices are on the website, guys. Uh, links in my bio, virtualflea.com. Luis, drop off my tees before the event, please. <laughs> oh, okay. I know what she's talking about. All right. Maybe. Maybe I will. If you haven't been to one, it's one to go to. Yeah. Future Pass has been going. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Does that, yeah. Does that mean you're not going to be able to make it, Josh? Sheesh. Yeah. Well, he has a store to run, right? Something like that, so. Oh, yeah. He's got, got, he's got his stuff to do. But, um. Marvel Coast is bootstock Luis. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm still, I still, I still sell vintage. So I'll still be that stock Luis. But yeah, nah, I thought about doing like a separate page for just boots, but nah, I'll just keep it all together. I don't have fucking time to be going through two pages. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's too much. It's and too much. Merch move, what? Virtual merch. Uh, maybe, maybe, we'll see. You're not dropping anymore, Hawkins. Huh,
Uh, Birch merch. Uh, we're working on some Birch merch, but the thing is that since there's already going to be tees being made for the event, like you, uh, All American, and Szechuan got a booth together, so I'm sure they're going to be making some merch as well. Yeah. We're thinking about maybe skipping tees uh, for this one and maybe doing some hats. So keep an eye out for that one, guys. I got I made a really cool logo that I'm pretty proud of. Uh, I'll be, we'll be dropping that soon. Make sure you don't get hacked, Luis. <laughs> that shit, I got hacked. That shit was terrible. Oh, yes. Bro, did you yeah. put on your two-step verification? Uh, I have that now, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay cool. So I was like, I had no clue what that was, and I was just like, whatever. And then, yeah, I got hacked. Fucking lost my page. That, that is inspiration to anybody who has a, a shitty day where, like, I don't know, <laughs> the worst things that can happen in your business. Chris, what up, bro? I'm going to hit you up after this. Um... This man literally had his account hacked. The dude was on live freaking talking shit. What was he doing? He was yeah, like, he, the dude was on live? I don't know what the fuck it was, but that shit was crazy. It was terrible. I was so pissed. But yeah, that was that was a bad day for sure. Yeah, dude hopped on and was like uh, roasting everybody. You you never got that account back. You had to start your account over again. Yeah, yeah. So I redid an account. And then that account got uh, flagged, so they, they deleted it, um, which is good. And then... Uh, I wait. I had to wait like six months to get my name back. So like, cause it's been deleted for like six months, and so yeah, I ended up getting my old name back, and then just keeping my other account and just restarting from, from pretty much zero. Wow, that was was a whole ordeal. And then how many followers did you have on that last? Uh, uh like fourteen thousand. And where are you at now? Eighteen, almost nineteen. Bro, bounce yeah. back, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was it was good. You know, it's been good. I've been active and stuff. So um. Yeah, everybody kind of showed love, you know, reshotting me out and stuff. So, yeah, I was just stressed out for, like, him to scam people because he was like, I have shirts for the low. And, like, he's selling, like, my Street Fighter shirt for, like, 100 bucks or something. I was like, this fucking bastard. I was pissed. Sheesh. So that goes to show anybody if you're having a bad day where you get locked out of your account, your account gets deleted. Or whatever happens, you could always start over yeah. again because this man bounced back even crazier. I had, I remember one time my account got locked out uh, and deleted. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, for like 14 hours, it was just deleted. And uh, I just was like messaging for my personal. I was messaging Instagram, uh, their, the Instagram, Instagram directly. I was always on the comments, like just leaving a bunch of comments, emailing. I found an email for them, sent the email. And I got my account back after uh, 14 hours. I remember it was like 14 hours that I was, that I didn't have my account. That's just stressful. Oh, I know. Words, bro. I was going through like some. I wasn't more stressed about losing my account. I was just more stressed about like him scamming somebody, and then they think I scammed them. You know, like I was like, "Fuck!" I was just more like I didn't care about losing that account because I could just restart. It's not like the biggest um like, but yeah, just him scamming people. I was like, "Fuck!" Hopefully, he doesn't scam nobody. Would you ever get verified? Oh, me or you? Uh, uh, you. I'll go. I'll go second. Um, nah, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. I know some people say it's for, like, safety or some shit, right? Because you have to leave, like, your ID or something. Mm -hmm. so I guess for that, but it does look kind of, like, weird. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I can, actually, because, like, I don't think business accounts can, like, verify themselves. I think you can, because I'm a business account, and they just gave me the option. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, nah, I don't know. I mean, if it'll protect my account, yeah, but that would be, like, the only reason why. It's not to, like, think that I'm, like, a celebrity or some shit, but, yeah, just to kind of protect my account, I guess. Yeah. Lewis, can I see your savings account? <laughs> uh, actually, it's done right now. My savings account's been drained. I had to be made. <laughs> so. um, yeah, I I don't know. I'll do the uh, nah. I won't do the blue check. I wanted one for a long time. Yeah. But I wanted it uh, like the way people used to yeah. get it. Yeah. Just, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, if it protects your account, I don't see like why why you wouldn't. But. Yeah, I don't know. I know some people are gonna be like, because this fucking dude, you know, like just, everyone's gonna talk shit all the time about something. So, but I heard that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it. But I heard that in other countries that they actually boost your uh, exposure. So like, mm -hmm. your attraction, who who sees your stuff, it gets boosted uh, if you have the blue check. So I heard. I don't. I don't think they're doing that in the U.S. They're probably gonna do it. I think I would do it for that reason, just because there is things that I want to get out there. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, whatever. I guess if it, if they offer that, it might be worth getting. I'll get it just for that. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, if they offer it to me, I'll get it. Fuck it, you know. Just, if it protects my account, then I'll just do it. Cause yeah, cause, yeah. like I got, I want to get hacked again and shit. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, drop your questions in the chat, guys. We're live right now with Deadstock Luis, special guest for Virtual Flea LA. 
We got a bunch of really great vendors coming up. Uh, do you know of any vendors that you're excited to see there? Uh, you, Carlos, the homie. He he's a he lives right up the street from me, so I always see him all the time. We go to the same gym. Um, but yeah, so him, he always has good stuff. Um, who else is vending that I know? I think that's like the only one that I know that's actually vending. Um, but yeah, he always has he always has some good stuff. So yeah, Carlos and his and his brother. So. Yep. Uh, do you know Kuya Vintage? Kuya Vintage from Sacramento. Maybe I know a lot of people. I talked to a lot of people in the DMs. I just don't remember everybody's name. Like only certain people, like local friends, I I, I know. But like, I'm always like my mind's always crazy and shit. So I, I don't ever really like remember names too good. So we got Volti and Love Buzz coming out from Texas. Okay. Uh, a lot of the actually a lot of vendors from outside of California actually traveling to come vend at this event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know them, them Isaac and all them. Um, you got but, them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kuya and Emmy Vintage, two uh, really dope collectors from uh, Sacramento. Uh, they've been on my live both recently, so uh, some of you may know them. Ron Garman says Kuya has bangers. Yes, bangers. They're doing a joint uh, stand, so we're going to have some crazy bangers at Virtual Flea LA, guys. I'm excited. Chris, do you actually believe there can be a fix for dry rot or no way? What do you think about that, Luke? Um I actually, I actually sent some shirts to um, Elevator to see. You know, I have a, I have a Street Fighter shirt that was rot, so we'll see, we'll see how it comes back. Hopefully, I mean, I know Wiz made a post about it, um, so we'll see. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, might as well. But yeah, I don't know yet until I see it. You know. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, for me, I couldn't believe it, but after I saw Wiz say, because Wiz is like a dry rot, like he has no sympathy for dry rot. He goes so hard on it. And he won't even let a shirt be even 1% dry rot. Like, his test is crazy. Like, so for him to say that the shirt is cured, I now I believe it. So in now believing it, I've been trying to, like, understand how this guy did it. And the only thing that I could think of is he must have some kind of a solution that he dips the shirt in. And uh, is all, like, it's like a film that goes over the shirt. Like, there's a layer now of protection. Um like it's like it's dipped in something. I don't, that's the only thing I could think of. But Kirk said that when he feels a shirt, he's like, "Bro, it doesn't feel like it was dipped in anything, but it definitely feels like." No, he said it. It kind of feels like it may be dipped in something that it, that is protecting it. But he's like, "But it doesn't. It still feels like a shirt. It feels great." Yeah. So. No, I'm curious. I know. I know. Um, he's testing it, or he's like doing this thing uh, next week. So I won't have it for like another two weeks. But yeah, I'm curious to see how it comes in. So, we actually uh, invited him also to be a special guest for the event because of that amazing news of him oh, here in Dry Rock. Yeah, but uh, he said his thing, his whole setup is not going to be ready yet. So. Yeah, he's a busy, busy guy for sure, so I, I get it. Yeah. But, yeah, hopefully, shit, that will be dope. Taking care of Dry Rock, shit, I have a couple, too, that I just have on the wall. Just, I'll send to I'll him. But, buy a bottle, for sure. I'm buying a bottle. I'm buying the, the economy bottle, the big one, the, the, the gallon. <laughs> Yeah, no, that'd be, that'd be sick, though. Sure. If you can, yeah, if you can help, then that shit's crazy. But we'll see. You know, I'll, I'll check. When I test mine, too, I'll fucking... They're bitch, and that sucks. But, you know, at least I'll know. McMahon says, I'll be at Virtual LA. We'll see you there, brother. He about to change the game. Yes, yes. I'm excited to hear about that. So many tees that... Uh, um, the best use of them was to go out in public and just rip it off. I used to do that a lot, just to, like, uh, stun people. Now we could actually cure them. That Goro is a uh, rot. That, that's rot, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. So I framed it up because fucking I did get it rot. So yeah, if it, if it does work, shit, I'm gonna send this to him too. Fucking get that shit fixed. Sheesh. But yeah, that, that's, that's that's the Goro. I wish that shit wasn't rot. Fucking, I've been looking for that tea for a long ass time. Damn. That, so that's a super rare one, huh? That Goro. Yeah, then black it is. I, I've uh, I've only seen one other black one or two other ones, black ones, but um. One guy doesn't sell, another one's like a Mortal Kombat collector too. So, but yeah. Now, hopefully, though, shit, I'll fucking send that today and fucking get that shit fixed. For sure, crack that open for sure. Damn, I never thought I'd see the day when we'd have a dry rot uh, cure. So that's <laughs> that's insane. But yeah, brother, that was all my questions, man. I just wanted to know, like, uh, uh, for the because I'm gonna cut this up. So I wanted to talk about what you collect, uh, what goes into making your boots, uh, what inspires you uh, to collect the things that you do. Uh, your most successful design and uh, how you deal with the uh, boot hate in the vintage community. <laughs> yeah, boot hate. I, I don't get too, too much on it. Like sometimes it's like random ass people, but I just block them. I don't got time for that to be like arguing with them. I just block and see you later, you know? 
Yeah, I think that's that's the best. That's the best way to deal with yeah, it. Yeah, back then I would message him like "fuck you," you know, like "fuck you shit." But nah, now I just block him, whatever. Just keep it moving, you know. There's a saying that said. I heard a saying the other day. It said, uh, "Never wrestle with a pig. You both get dirty, and plus the pig likes it." A lot of times, these cats aren't even really in the community. They just want to just talk a little yeah. shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, every time they message, it's like random ass people. I don't feel like uh, I haven't really had any, any pushback from like vintage heads. It's mostly like just random ass people just talking shit. So, um, yeah, I'm just like I don't know, whatever. I just block them, fucking get rid of them. And then my last uh, question here was going to be about your next virtual design, which we touched on also. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, catch uh, Deathstock Louise virtual LA May twentieth with uh, uh, an, a virtual flea LA exclusive boot as well. Uh, the the preview is going to be coming soon, right? Yeah, yeah. It's getting printed next week, so I will probably won't get it for like another two weeks. But um, yeah, it should be it should be a good one. I mean, we'll we'll see see if people like it. I showed a couple friends, and they're like, "Yeah, it's just dope." But we'll see. You know, yeah. I feel like I think it's sick. It's got a character on it that I don't think I've seen or rarely seen on on TVs. Yeah. Did I say too much? Was that too much? No, nah, I mean he's on this, so you'll see him again. But yeah, pretty much. It, there you go. Drop the with him on it. There you go. All right, brother. Much love, man. Thanks so much for your time. Um, that's all I had. Uh, did you have anything else? Are you good? Um, no. Just I'll see you in uh, in LA, and pretty much if anyone's thinking about going, just go because it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be lit. Yep. All right, brother. Much love, man. Blessings to you and the family, and uh, I'll hit you All up. Right, we'll be in touch. All right, All right brother. Peace. All right, guys, just wanted to hop on real quick, uh, introduce you to the special guest for Virtual LA. As for me, uh, I'm taking off to the Keith Sweat concert tonight. I'm going to go see Keith Sweat. Let's see if we can take a picture with Keith Sweat in the Keith Sweat sweated tee. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I'll be posting the updates on my story. Uh, also, yesterday, guys, I got married. Uh, some of you may, uh, some of you know that. I, Drina and I got married. We tied the knot. Oh, shit, where's my ring? Damn. That's, oh, damn, I don't even know where my ring is. Oh, here it is. So I'm a married man now, guys. So all you guys all up in my DM or all you guys in the chat that are always complimenting my haircut and telling me that I'm cute, stop it. All right? I'm married. I'm married now, G. <laughs> all right, y'all. Much love. You guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Have a great Easter weekend. Virtual Flea, May 20th, Los Angeles. Tickets available in my bio link. Make sure you're following the Instagram, Virtual Flea LA. Room block information coming on Monday, so stay tuned for updates on that. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.